I'm Jeff from Goose, here with Ryan Storm, Storm Sound. He's always almost there. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so let's start with the first thing, my new rug, uh, rugs.com. <laughs> this is an eight by eight. It's slightly oversized. Very important. Very important rug, right, Marta? Yes. Yeah, she approves. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we got the rug. Um, I found these bongos uh, under some bottles. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we started last time. Cool, uh, still LP guy. I think we went over these last time. These are LP accents. Uh, I got Manito custom skins on these out of Georgia. This is uh, a Giovanni Galaxy head. I like the feel and sound of natural skins. That's important. But I use fiberglass drums um, because they're tour worthy. I used to tour with wooden congas and they all they all cracked due to humidity changes. So be careful out there. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The moment we've all been waiting for. The gong. She's back. Uh, they forgot her for our Boston show, so thank you Katie Zildjian for letting us borrow the 30 inch Zildjian gong. Uh, we actually had to do a little repair here. I don't know if you want to come around. I had to, I had to cut a hole in my gong. Um, it got dinged here and, and actually cracked and it was rattling. So when you, when you crack a cymbal, um, a gong behaves the same way as a cymbal. Um, the, the crack will rattle, um, so you have to you have to drill a hole at the end of the crack and then file out the rest, um, so that you get a nice. So it was rattling. So, so I, I did that repair yesterday. Uh, this is a 28 inch gong. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we got some more bongos over here. These are Giovanni's. Um, more Manito custom heads. This is horse skin. Sorry, vegans. Uh, this is steer. This is a microphone. Uh, and this is a gong stand, in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, got a new tambourine, new old tambourine. I broke the other one. Uh, careful when you smash a china symbol with a tambourine. <laughs> It may break. Actually, I broke two. I broke this one also. This was another backup, also broken. Um, this is kind of cool though. I got four brass jingles, two nickel, and two dimple brass. So, got a little bit of a variety there. I haven't really asked Peter what he thought of it yet, but he didn't say hated it. So, we're doing well. Um, we got these things. Uh, the fish is back. Had to get a new scraper. Everybody loves the fish. We got this thing. This is the deluxe version <laughs> of the Vibra Slap, in case you were wondering. Also LP. Most important member, Bud Heavy, baby. Just kidding, this is a beer can shaker from Index Drums out of New Orleans. Really like that. LP shakers taped together, my specialty. We have a mini gong, an accent. Mini gong. Just kidding, it's also a bongo. We have another mini gong. And a little chime. Very popular. Chime is very popular. Um, what next? Oh, we still got the tree works symbols. It was a tree 23, but I lost one. So now it's a tree 22 and it kind of puts it at a nice tilt for the symbol. So custom, if you have any tree 23s you'd like me to mod, we can talk after the show. <laughs> uh, these are made in Nashville, so we'll be there soon. Maybe we'll get another one. I don't know. Cool. All right. Bass drum is new. Uh, CNC drums out of Kansas City, Missouri. Shout out Jake Cardwell and Bill Cardwell, father-son duo. Uh, they've been really great. I've got to visit the factory twice. 
Um, even Rick got a drum set to help him pick out. So uh, these, the toms are walnut. Uh, I put some die cast rims on them. This bass drum, Red Sparkle, is a 24 inch. It is maple gum and it's 12 inches deep. So a fun fact, new guy. Um, I have a matching snare back here. It's a six inch um, red sparkle there. You can see that guy. Also maple gum, also die cast. But right now I am using my 60s uh, sling. I wanted to try it out because I've been using it in my studio at home. This is a 1960s Slingerland. Uh, I did replace the throw. These are chrome over brass hoops. This is like a maple poplar type deal. Um, so, Eric uh, Loomis, our front house guy, seems to like the sound, so we're there. Um, I got a new hi-hat stand. This is a DW5000, in case you were wondering. Thank you very much. Um, we added another block here. Now I have two. This one's blue, and this one is black. This is called the Stealth Jam Block, in case you were wondering. Uh, we have the LP, Classic Black Beauty Baby, and my Mambo Bell. This is one of my oldest instruments. I've had this guy for 20 plus years, uh, as well as this little salsa. That's the little guy. You may have heard it on songs such as Pancakes. Uh, and this is a Tito, Tito Puente. Timbale Bell, that's a new guy. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we got the Cyclops tambourine here. Love that guy. Um, uh, I use a Pearl Eliminator pedal. I have a double pedal set up because uh, I'm working on getting my uh, my calves chops together if any of you guys are Giz fans. Uh, one thing I, I noticed last night that I wanted to mention, this is a Telefunken M80. I got this from my brother uh, many years ago. So uh, thanks Pedro. Um, and Telefunken was nice enough to put a new, uh, a new cover on it and clean it up. So shout out to Alan Benintosh and everyone else at Telefunken. Um, got some new symbols here. Uh, these are, they're all Zildjian. Um, this is like a K Finn hat, I think. It's a prototype deal. The bottom is uh, a custom special dry. Keep my hats closed so I can mount the tambourine on top and then I'm not fighting Ben for open hi-hat stuff. Seems to work out. Uh, we have a 19 inch Karope crash here. Really like that guy. We have my signature K Custom flat top ride with uh, custom rivets that I installed. This is a red, a little red rubber ducky. This is from the Mousetrap. Indy loves you. August 10th, 2019. Wasn't there, but I got this duck. <laughs> Thank you. Kind of got a red and black thing going, so it works. Um, here we have the Lunar Crash, 20 inch Lunar Crash, uh, also Zildjian. This was a, uh, this is Stanton Moore's custom symbol. It has seven clusters and three rivets. Really like this guy. You may have heard this on last night's Echo. If not, maybe you should listen to it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and we have my K Zildjian Constantin Opal 20 inch um, Swish Knocker. Swish Knocker. All right, uh, I don't think these are in production anymore, but um, thank you, Katie Zildjian, Joe, and Jordan for helping me um, select these symbols. Uh, yeah, 
Got some new stands from PDP. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, LP thrown for you kids at home. And I have an LP uh, little jingle guy here. Sometimes you can. Yeah, it's not on, and uh, I don't think the, I don't think the house sounds on. So we're not gonna make any noise with this right now. I was just messing with it over there. No, we're good. I was just messing with it over there. Um, I think there's the same sounds on here that was last time, but we're gonna we're gonna dial up some new sounds. So stay tuned. Um, working on a deal with Roland so I can get more into electronic stuff. Cause that's the future. We got some new DBA mics around. Um, yeah, anything else? Uh, my gong mallet is from Gongs Unlimited. Shout out. They're out of Omaha, Nebraska. And I like my Audio Technica ATH M50X. Be like Jeb, wear headphones. Um, still using Promark Elvin Jones sticks. Uh, when the, when the handles get beat up, I throw them into the crowd, so maybe you'll get lucky. Oh, uh, yeah. Any questions? That's it. Thanks for coming out. Stormy weather. <laughs>